the Lord. I just thank God for how y'all do everything decent and in order. And when we come here, we feel the love from everybody from the front to the back. We just Praise thank God. God. Praise God. God. Amen. Uh, I thank God for Prayer Foundation, uh, the ones who came on tonight. I, I just I thank God for y'all so much. I know it's done very well. Very well. God for y'all. Uh, I know that you know this is a school night and the kids got homework and everything, but y'all kind of did not robbery to come out tonight. Amen. I thank God for one of the officers of Fern Foundation, uh, Prophetess Donita Smith, all the way from Greensburg. <laughs> She's right, she got my back. And I thank God for you. And I don't take it for granted. Amen. Amen. God. Matter of fact, this is her idea. <laughs> Praise God. Yes. Yeah, she, she called me one day from, uh, from Greenburn and said, she said, Pastor, God laid on my heart something for you to do for men. And not just men, but everybody. But it was for, you know, it, it originally came to me for the men. And she said, uh, last would come forth. And I, and I began to start saying what how God laid it on her heart and she said you know that exactly what he told me and so I just thank God for you sis um, you keep on doing what you do I'm with you and I know you're with us and uh, I thank God for one of the daughters of the church Kevanya she yeah. came up this young lady yeah. this young lady is thirsting for the Lord she she hasn't been able this is her first time coming to church in about a year Praise God. Amen. 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 She worked she she so much, and I told her that God is going to release her to be able to come to church because that's her heart's desire. Yes. Amen. And He's going to do it. Amen. He's yes, going to do it. You just, you just hold on and you keep the faith. Amen. 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 So I just thank the Lord for everybody here today. Uh, and give uh, Elder Tony uh, uh, a <laughs> prayer. Praise the Lord. Um, I toiled with this uh, Deacon Jones professor. I toiled with this one uh, because um, when it, it came to me as uh, come forth, lives would come forth, and I thought about it as uh, men coming forth. I thought I, that's that's how my train of thought was going. Men come forth. You know, people of God come forth. And I, I still have that train of thought, Deborah. But uh, one thing of, uh, uh, God showed me in this is, is, that, is that God want us to believe. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. He want us to believe, Tony. Yes. Uh, 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 uh. In, in chapter nine of uh, John, um, I, 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 I saw this uh, uh, very, very uh, interesting the way. He opened the eyes of the blind man first. Come on, mm. come on right, somebody, somebody watch, okay. somebody can catch this one. Yeah, yeah, he, he, he had to open their eyes to see who he, who he was first. That's right. Uh, 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 and, and, and we know that the religious leaders, they, 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 they scorned him and they scorned the blind man because he said that, uh, I, I don't know whether he's a prophet or who he is, but all I know that I once <laughs> but now yeah. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so he showed them uh, uh, in chapter nine, Isaac, that uh, uh, it's time for you to start seeing now. And how many know that even the disciples that were with them was blind? Yes, sir. Uh, 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 uh. And, and, and Jesus continued to let them know that uh, these things were done that you may believe. Lord, have mercy. Let, 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 me, let me not get ahead of myself, but I, 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 I talked with this one because I, I was trying to keep it on men coming forth, men coming forth. And, and, and yes, we in, 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 in Christendom, yeah, we, we, we have to come forth. Right. Mm -hmm. We have to come forth. But what mm -hmm. God is saying, we have to believe in yeah. adversity and triumph. Adversity and triumph, we yeah. have to come forth and believe. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Yeah. When we go through adversity, 
How many know in chapter 9, all the way, all the way through this book of John, uh, our Lord and Savior went through some adversity? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Oh, yes, he did. But in his adversity, he triumphed through yeah. the adversity. Yes, Come sir. on, somebody. Yes, and this is what we have to do. We have to triumph through all of the adversities that we go through. Yeah. yeah. Come forth. Yeah. Come yeah. Forth. All come forth in Christ because we're living in a day now, he says, just like the days of Noah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so he wants us to believe that he is who he said he is. And if come we on. don't That's believe it. It. this one thing yeah. that he was trying to get everybody to believe, right. how do they know that if you read the Bible and you study mm -hmm. it well, especially in the New Testament, he really wanted people to know that they shall live again. Yeah. 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 Come on now. Oh, but see, that's, that's one thing that's is hard for somebody who don't believe. He said, that's why faith is the substance of the thing hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Even though you have not seen this living again, yes. it, the, he said, the ones who did not see me, yes. they have some, they, 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 yes. they have faith. Yes. That's right. He said, you have seen me. And yes. then was, uh, uh, Thomas, he had, to, he had to see the holes and everything yes, in did. order to believe this, y'all. Yes, See it. God Almighty. John chapter 11, starting at verse 38. John chapter 11, starting at verse 38. I want to read that again. I know that uh, the, 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 the elder, he read it already, but we're going to read that again. Amen. Uh, Jesus, hallelujah. And, and John chapter 11, starting at verse 38. Jesus, once more deeply moved, came to the tomb. It was a cave with a stone laid across the entrance. Take it away. Take away the stone, he said. But Lord, said Martha, the sister of the dead man, by this time there is a bad odor. You see how they were taught who he was but still didn't believe. For he has been there for days. I, I want to tell you a little something about that four days because see, when they first told Jesus about it, Jesus said, I'm going to, in the preceding verses it said, Martha and Mary and, and Lazarus, the ones that Jesus loved, he waited two days before he came. Then I asked myself, I said, Jesus, you waited two days but you loved them? Okay, you made an appointment to tell us that you loved them but you waited two days to yes, go sir. and see about them. Yes, sir. You know why he did that? So that they may believe. Oh, yes, Adversity, yes. triumph. Yeah, yes, he, he wanted them to, he wanted him to, to go ahead and pass on, yes. pass away yes. so that when he comes, Yes, sir. Come on. So he said, in four days, mm -mm. see, by this time, it was four days. Yeah. It took his time. Then Jesus said, Did I not tell you that if you believe, mm -hmm. you will see the glory of God? Mm -hmm. So they took away the stone. Then Jesus looked up and said, Father, I thank you. See, now, I'm going to tell you about this part. He said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. I know that you always hear me, but I said this in front of them so that they may believe. Right. God, don't matter. Yeah, 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 because the, 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 the religious leader said, couldn't he have the one who had me? Blind man to see? Uh -huh. Couldn't he have uh -huh. kept this man alive? That's if he right. Had somebody and made him see? Mm -hmm. So Jesus said yeah. right in front of the onlookers, mm -hmm. the Jews, the religious leaders, and the disciples, he said, Father, thank you, Jesus. I thank you thank that you, you hear me. Mm -hmm. Because you remember in the preceding verses, Martha said, I know that God hears you when you pray, mm -hmm. and he will do whatever you ask. God, yeah. 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 Come see, on down. see, the whole time, <laughs> Jesus was teaching them to believe right. who he said right. he was. Yeah. He is Come the on. Messiah. Yeah. He yes, is sir. the son of the living yeah. God. Yeah. And that was the thing that, 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 that really got them religious leaders, they really was upset with him about because he said that he was the son 
of God. Yes. Who are you? They would tear their clothes. They would rip their clothes. They would pick up dirt and throw it up in the air. They would cuss. They would go off. They, yes. they just wanted to rip him to pieces because he said he was the son of God. Mm -hmm. wow. But he said, I said this for the benefit of the people standing around. Yes. That they may believe that you sent me. God. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. When he had said this, Jesus called out in a loud voice. Yeah, he won't shame. He won't, he won't, he won't scare. He called out in a loud voice the name of Lazarus. Mm -hmm. wow. He said, Lazarus, come out. Come on. Yes, sir. Lazarus, Lazarus, come out. Jesus. The dead man came out. His hands and feet wrapped in strips of linen and, and a cloth around his face. Jesus said to them, take off the grave cloth yes. and let him go. My God. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Thank who preach this word, God, Thank yes, you, Lord. help me to, Lord, to bring it to clarity, Lord. Yes. Yes. Let it fall on some fertile soil, Lord, that it may take root, Lord. That they not only be hearers, God, they'll be doers of the word, applying it to their every day yes. living. Yes. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. We all have had times in our lives where people wrote us off mm -hmm. and felt like we weren't going to be about nothing, we weren't going to do anything. And, mm -hmm. and, 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 and God is saying, not so. Come on, mm -hmm. right? God is saying not so. We're, we've been sick in our bodies. We 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 lost a lot of things in life and thought we wanted to never come up. Our finances and everything have been down. We 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 our living arrangements probably have been down. We we, we just had a lot of things going on in our lives. But mm -hmm. what God does is God used everything that happens to us for his glory yes, and sir. his purpose. Yes, Amen. Am I right yes, about it? Everything that Every. happens to us for his glory. That's why he says, come Every. forth, come forth, Lazarus, come, come forth, come forth, man of God, come forth, woman of God, because I want to use your life as an example of what I can do in this life. He yes. said that I will resurrect whatever is going on in your life. Yes. I will make it, make it I will make it come, come back to come life. Whatever is going on in your life, I can resurrect it. Yes. And so God used this 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 Lazarus to come forth because God wanted to show all the religious leaders, the, the, the Pharisees, he wanted to show the disciples and the onlookers what he could do and who he was. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. And see, what, 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 what interesting thing about it is, a lot of the onlookers, just like in our lives, we got onlookers. Come on now. Come on, they, they want to see something. They want yes. to see either you come, come alive or either they want to see you dead. Yeah, yeah. There's people around us that's not around us for any good. Right. Amen. All they want to do is hang on for what they can get out you. Then right. once they get what they're going to get out you, they go. Amen. Right. Amen, somebody. But here, here, Jesus was telling, was telling the disciples, look, all y'all got to do is believe. He said, I've been with y'all all this time, and y'all still slow yeah. of understanding. Oh. Help us, Lord, to be able to understand what God is saying to us in this day and time. God is saying to us in this passage, in this revival, that he can resurrect from the dead. Whatever, whatever is going on in your life. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Bring it Here, Jesus is making a point to the religious leaders that he and the disciples that he is the Messiah, the son of the living God. Yeah. He was letting them know they still didn't understand because every time when Jesus told the disciples, he said, I'm going back. He said, I'm going. And the place I'm going, you can't go. He said, well, where are you going? He said, they, he had to tell them, you can't go there. He said, but I'm going to come back. I'm going to get you. I'm going to take you there. He said, well, where are you? I don't know. I don't understand. You got all these speaking, all these parables. Speak plainly to us, God. He said, well, I am the son. Of God and where I'm going, the Lord. And when I come back, when I resurrect, when I come back, when I come back to get you, yes. then it's okay. Now we understand because you're speaking plainly to us. God says, God says that 
He can do all of these things in our yes. lives mm -hmm. if we would just allow him to. Because how many know uh, Lazarus means the one who, the one who helped, the one he helps. Mm -hmm. That's what Lazarus means. Mm -hmm. The one he helps. How many know he helps us all? Yes. 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 The one he helps. The one that was laying in the tomb for four days, mm -hmm. decomposed. Come on, man. yes, sir. Smelling. Come on, man. They didn't wrap them tightly because during that time they didn't wrap them tightly mm -hmm. when they put them in the tomb when they just died. They didn't wrap them. They didn't mummify them. Mm -hmm. They just they just they just wrapped them up, and that's why when he came out the tomb, the wraps was falling off of him. Mm -hmm. They didn't really put a whole lot of spices on them. Mm -hmm. They put a little nod on them, but not that much. And so when he came out, he said, go. He just told him to go. And this is what God is telling us. Once he brings us out of something, on, don't keep yeah. sitting around in Come it. On, just yeah. go. Just go. Yeah. Go about your business. Don't yeah. keep looking back. And, yeah. and thinking, oh, oh, I don't know if I, I've been delivered or not. I don't know if I'm healed or not. I don't yeah. know if I got out or not. He said, just keep going. Oh, yes. Lazarus got out there too when he said, go. Lazarus kept on walking down the street with the rags falling off and everything. Yes, kept walking down the street. Yes, and see one thing about it. The onlookers, they wanted to make everybody believe that it wasn't so. Come on. Who is this man that's raising people from the dead? Caiaphas yes. said that one man has to die right. in order for all to live. Yes, yes, Amen. Yes. That's, so. that's how mad he got. And so they went to try to kill Jesus mm. and Lazarus. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. See, yeah. see, this is the point I'm trying to make to you. When your test, that's why God says, give your testimony. Right. Because it's a blessing in your testimony. Yes. Because you don't know who trying to stagnate or stifle your testimony. Right. Come on, or be known with your testimony. Right. Or make your testimony not seen what it is. Tell your testimony that God may be glorified. Yes, because right. everything that God did in the in chapter 9, all through chapter 11, was for him to be glorified. Right. Yeah. Tell it. Tell your testimony. Don't be ashamed. Tell the people mm. what God did for you mm. so that somebody's life may be changed. Amen. 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 Tell, I don't know what it is, but God won't let me go to this place. Yeah. <laughs> he won't let me go to this place. He won't let me. I got so many notes up here. But God, Martha, Martha, see Martha and Mary, they believe. Because Mama Martha said, she said, I know. He, he, she said, she said, yeah, I know when we die, we're going to be resurrected and we're going to be with you. And he was like, yeah, yeah. He said, but you looking at the resurrection. Yes, That's right. Jesus. Right. Yes. I am yes. the resurrection. Yes, he is. Amen. Amen. And so she looked and she was like, oh. Okay, Lord. Okay, Lord. Okay, Lord. And then she said, and both of them, Mary and Martha, said, "If you were here, mm. he would have lived." Come on. And he said, "Just take me to where he is." Mm -hmm. And that's what God is is saying to us. Mm -hmm. He's saying to us right now. He said, "Jesus is saying, just, just let me, let me come to where you are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let me come to where you are mm -hmm. and bring you out of whatever you're going through." Praise Amen. God. Praise God. Let me come right there in the midst of your pain, in the yes. midst of your struggle, in the midst of your trial, in the, in, in the adversity and in the triumph. Let me come right there to you. And I will bring you out. Listen to this. This is a sidebar. Jesus had already said to the Pharisees, the reason my father loves me is that I lay down my life. He told them old Pharisee church folks, he told them, he said, the reason, because you remember they said that, uh, you, you know how, you going to talk to me this way, don't you know I got the power to take your life? He said, you ain't got the power to take nothing from me. That's right. mm -hmm. You can't take nothing. And this is what God is saying to us. 
The enemy yeah. has no power to take yeah. anything yeah. away from us. Yeah. We yeah. give them too much credit. Yeah. Come on, man. We got the power within us. We got the Holy Spirit that's in us, that dwells in us. Ain't nowhere in the world the enemy can take anything from He said, He said, Jesus had already said to the Pharisees, the reason my father loves me is that I lay down my life for him. Amen. What did John 3.16 say? For God so loved the world that he laid down his life, that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever, unto the whosoever, yes, that believe, this is what he wants us to do. He wants us to believe. Now, see, this is a hard sell because if you don't believe that you're going to be raised, or raised again from the dead to glorification, then you miss the whole boat. Amen. Wow. You missed it. Jesus. And how many of you how many of you know that it's a lot of folks claiming to be Christians that's around here that that's a hard sell for them. They don't, they don't, they don't know. They're not sure. Yeah. We have to be sure. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. We live in this life to live uh, to live, live again. again. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. He said, he said, he said, I lay it down of my own accord. Yes. I have a authority to lay it down and the authority to take it up again. This command I received from the Father in John chapter 10, verse 17 through 18. The blind man said this. He said, whether he is a sinner or not, I don't know. He said, one thing I do know, that I watch for blood. But now I see. Come on, somebody. Yeah. He, look, the, the, the son man, he, 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 all he know is the, the man took the scales off his eyes. Yes, sir. Right. And now, not only can he see physically, but he can see spiritually. Yeah, yeah. 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 because yeah. God, because Jesus told me, say, the man that you're talking to, uh, I am the resurrected. Mm -hmm. He said, he said, do you believe? Mm -hmm. And he said, I believe. That's all yeah. it took for him. <laughs> he said, I believe now. Yeah. And he said, well, go on and stop saying. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The bad man, he worshiped him. Yes, he did. Jesus, when asked by the disciples, who sinned? See, this is another thing a lot of people get caught up in. When asked by the disciples now, who sinned? This man or his parents? Jesus said, neither the man or his parents. Neither. But the stuff that happens to us is that. God may be glorified. Amen. 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 Just because your mom and your daddy went through this and did this and did that, don't mean it had to come upon you. Right. Right. He just said, he said, who sinned? His mom or his father? He yeah. said, neither one of them. He said, but this happened to him that I may be glorified. Yes, yes sir. God Almighty. Yeah, God will pick, I'll pick you out that he may be glorified yes. by your life. And your family, they might have might have went through anything right. traumatic. Right. But God picked you to be an example right. of his glory yeah. and of his power. Thank you, Jesus. What a privilege. Yeah. What an honor. Yeah. Yeah. Come Thank on, you. somebody. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. That his power may be displayed. When he said, when he had said this, he cried out with a loud voice. Come forward. Come forward. And, 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 and this, this is interesting too, saints of God. This was a preview of the power to be fully displayed in the final resurrection. Mm -hmm. When all the dead will hear the voice of God. Yes. Ain't that something? All the dead. This was a preview. Because remember, as we go on through the book of John, that's when they begin to start. When Lazarus betrayed him, they beat him, they stoned him, they did everything they could do, then they threw him on the cross. Yeah. So he raised Lazarus to give them a preview of how the resurrection is going to be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So that they would know when that time comes, 
and he raised from the dead, they would know, I've seen this before. Yes. That's what he was trying to tell us yes. when he raised Lazarus, that he's going to raise us too. Yes. But how many know that they still didn't understand? Well, because when, when they came to the tomb, the angels had to, the angels had to tell them, what are you crying for? Mm -hmm. He's not here anymore. Yes. God don't matter. But it was a preview, a preview of the resurrection when all the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God and yes. live. Jesus yes. said, listen yes. to this, Jesus said, I tell you the truth, a time is coming and has now come. When the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God, and those who hear will live. John chapter 5, verse 25. Do not be amazed at this. He even telling them, don't be amazed at this. Oh, I've been showing this to you. He said, don't be amazed at this, for a time is coming when all who are in their graves will hear the voice and come out. Those who have done good will come out to live. And those who have done evil will rise to be condemned. Mm. Oh, oh my. Mm. The man who had died came out. Many of the, the Jews, therefore, who had come with Mary and had seen what he did, believed in him. But yes. some of them, some of them <laughs> did not believe. Come on. Look out. That's some onlookers, y'all. Right. Watch out for them onlookers in your adversity and trials. Mm. Watch out for them because you don't know why they're standing there on the side. Mm. Say, but some of them went and told the told Pharisees. <laughs> <laughs> went and told them what Jesus did. Just to, just to agitate things and make things uh, worse. And, and Jesus, what Jesus and Caiaphas, the high priest, said, it is better for one man that he should die for the people that the whole nation should perish. Jesus' teaching and actions often divided the Jews, while some believe, believe others, apparently with malicious intent. Mm -hmm. Malicious intent yeah. informed the Pharisees of Jesus' actions. They, they were maliciously going to tell the Pharisees what Jesus had did so that they could raise some kind of uh, confusion amongst the people so that those ones that did believe, they would stop believing because they were scared of the fact that the religious things. Amen. And so there's people around who would make look, make light of your blessing, make light of what God has done in your life because they don't want nobody to believe what God has done in their life, yeah. in your life because they don't have nothing going on in their yeah, life. And because they don't believe. Yeah. Yeah. Amen, somebody. This is how this world is. Yeah. It is treacherous. It is nasty. It is evil. And people do not want to see God's people flourish in this world. Right. Yeah, that's right. They do not want to see it. They do not want to see us have the power that God has given us to bring people out of their mess, right. to bring people out of their struggle. Yeah. They want to keep us to keep us down. They right. want to keep us underfoot. They want to keep our mouth shut. Oh, they want to keep us yeah. behind any kind of power, keep us behind any yeah. kind of testimony, yeah. keep us behind any kind of zeal, any kind of love, any kind of compassion for the Lord. They mm -hmm. want to keep us down, yeah. keep us from saying anything on yeah. the job, even, even sometimes in your own home. God, but God, but God, God, he allows us and gives us the power, that resurrection power. That's why he said, just believe. Yes. Just believe. Mm -hmm. If you confess with your mouth yes. and believe in your heart that Jesus Christ died and rose again from the dead. And you shall be saved. Yes. And then when he calls out with that loud voice, when that trumpet sounds, and he calls, he said, after the dead in Christ shall rise, we that are still alive will be caught up. Some folks will not see death. Right. And some folks will. Mm -hmm. But when he calls, he wants us to be ready. In adversity, 
in trial, he wants us to be ready. Yes. Amen. 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 Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. Amen. In trial, he wants us to be ready. When the trumpet sounds, when that final call is made out, he wants us to be ready. And so, Lazarus come forth is a plea for us to believe, to believe that he is the resurrection. That he is the resurrection. How many know that a lot of religions don't believe in the resurrection? The Sadducees didn't believe in the resurrection, but the Pharisees did. So when, when, when Peter made his plea to, to, uh, to uh, the, the king, when he made yeah. the plea to, um, uh, uh, what was it, a uh, not Agag, uh, yeah, Agag, Agrippa. Agrippa. When he made the, the, the plea to Agrippa, that's what, he, that's what happened when, when he started talk, telling them about the history of Jesus Christ and how Jesus Christ came on the scene and he and he told them about the rest. He said, Agrippa said, Well, I, I don't have no charges on you. And Festus, Festus was, was your coward. Festus was old coward because uh -huh. Festus was like, Well, I'm gonna bring him in front of Agrippa. Uh -huh. And when I bring him in front of Agrippa, because because I, I don't know what to charge him with. Uh -huh. And he was scared to even make a make any kind of judgment on it. So he said, Let's bring him in front of Agrippa, and I'm gonna let Agrippa do it. And Agrippa said, Okay, if you can sit there and and persuade me. On what you believe, then uh, we will see. And Peter began to just tell him the whole history. Went all the way back to our forefathers. Went all the way back. Went to John. Went to, went to went to uh, uh, John the Baptist. He went to Moses. He went. He, went, he, he told him the whole story. And then at the end, he told them about the resurrection, and they went crazy in the morning. The Sadducees and the Pharisees started going against each other. Yes, sir. About the resurrection. Mm -hmm. See, that's why this is so critical in our in our in our Christian life. Mm -hmm. The resurrection. See, we fuss and argue about a whole lot of a whole lot of foolishness mm -hmm. in, 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 in Christendom. Yes, we do. But do you have the faith to believe yes. the resurrection? Yes. yes. Hallelujah. That's it. Thank you, Lord. And when they got to arguing and fussing, they had to let Peter mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. My God. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, so that's what it's a plea for. I mean, he wants us to come forth yes. and believe mm -hmm. in his resurrection. He wants us to come forth and do the will of God. Yes. Things that he sent us here to do. Amen. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 H